do if you're watching this uh, is an old tabletop game that has been turned into several very successful computer games. Uh, most famously the Mech Warrior series, but uh, I'll pause for a here and let you watch the intro. Humanity finally develops faster than light travel. Establishes an off-world colony. Tau Ceti begins to spread throughout the galaxy. in the early uh, third millennium. Mm. So yeah, Battletech. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, for those of you who don't know, it's an old uh, tabletop game that's been uh, adapted into quite a few video games, uh, most notably the Mech Warrior games. Uh, there were was Mech Warrior 1, Mech Warrior 2, Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries, Mech Warrior 3, Mech Warrior 4, Mech Warrior 4 Mercenaries, and that was quite a few years ago now MechWarrior 4 came along, and there was MechWarrior Online, which is still online and is fairly popular, but I, honestly I never really took to MechWarrior Online, it just felt a bit, I don't know, pay to win. Uh, there was also Mech Commander games many years ago, which were an RTS game based on it, and they were good fun. I quite liked them. Um, the community's a bit split on the Mech Commander games, some love them, some hate them. But they never really felt like the tabletop. This, this is the game I've wanted them to make for a very long time. And that it's basically the tabletop game adapted for, you know, a PC game with, with turn-based control, all the same sort of rules and mechanics in there. And a really fantastic campaign. So we're going to dive straight back into the campaign where I'm at. So if you haven't played the game for yourself, uh, spoiler warning, I'm midway through the campaign the timeline. Society out beyond the periphery, and they come back years later to try and reconquer the inner sphere with all sorts of crazy advanced technology that everyone thought was long lost, and uh, in fact, they've developed even beyond there. And I love all that stuff, and it's they've got some really cool toys. But buy some more mechs. But uh, yeah, anyway. So here we are, back in the main menu here. We're about to start a new mission for the honor restoration. Uh, get the story of the game. So, yeah, I was going to say, spoiler warning, fair, fair news and all that here. Uh, I'm going to be talking about the plot of the game as we go through this video. And there are some plot twists in the game. I mean, it's not the most complicated story, and the plot twists, you know, are not really all that surprising. But if you don't want to know any of the story, don't watch this video. Uh, there's plenty of other Battletech videos online, I suspect, by now, but, uh, yeah. So... Uh, yeah, the storyline basically centers around uh, Lady Arano of the House Arano, and she is basically about to be crowned queen of her world after her parents, after her father died, and then her, basically her uncle overthrows her, uh, usurps the throne, and basically kills her, or so it seems, and you're, you're one of her mercenary sort of guards, and you're both training under her, under this old sort of grizzled mentor guy who of course dies in the process as well, and uh, it turns out obviously she's not dead, she's just been in hiding, and uh, she turns back up after three years and hires you, where you now become a full-on mercenary sort of commander, 
to uh, help her retake the throne. She pays off all your debts in exchange for basically being her personal army, her sort of crack mercenary special forces unit. And at this point, we are on a mission to, uh, well, if we go to the contract screen here. Okay, uh, the mission I'm on, I think, is basically to defend Planet Panzer from some nasty people who want to take it over. Let's just have a look what we can buy here. No, nothing worth buying at the moment. Although, another 20 plus more stability damage. And I just, you can buy so much stuff in here. I mean, look at the, if I go back to the, uh, the nav screen as well, you'll see what I mean. If we go to the star map. You can go anywhere in this little bit of the galaxy and take on missions and contracts. And the map changes dynamically as you go. I mean, this was all um, part of the Oregon Directorate, which is essentially her uncle who does take it over. But the Arana Restoration, as you can see, is clawing its way back in there. However, we also have a problem in that um, these guys, the Torian Concordat, who I think were financing us originally, are actually working with these guys now because of some complicated situations, and the rest of the inner sphere in the center of the galaxy is up sort of off the north of the map here. Over here we've got a uh, little bit of the Federated Sun sticking out, which is House Davian. We've got the uh, Capellan Confederation here and House Liao. Uh, is that House Merrick? Free Works League. Yep, House Merrick. And down here we've got... I don't know where that place is, I've never heard of it to be honest. Magister oh, no, I have the Magistracy of Canopus. I have heard of them. I don't really know anything about them much, but I've heard of them. And this bit in here is all pretty much the periphery. It's independent star systems. And, uh... Yeah, up there somewhere there's the Steiners and the... All the rest of them. Somewhere out down south, beyond the periphery, is where the clans live. But we don't know that. No one knows about the clans at this point in time. I'm really hoping the game will move the timeline on and we'll get the clan invasions and all that stuff, but uh, that'll be probably in a DLC or maybe in a full-on sequel, but we'll see. So we've got mechs in our mech bay at the moment. We've got a reasonable selection of mechs. We've got a griffin, a hunchback, a quick draw, a centurion. The ones I'm usually using, I like the centurion because it's reasonably quick, but no, it's not terribly quick, but it's light-ish, but it's pretty well armed. I've got the Orion, which in all honesty, the way I've got it equipped, it's kind of just a better version of the Centurion, so to be honest, I'm thinking of maybe rolling the Centurion back in exchange for maybe a quick draw for some more dedicated scouting, but we'll see. Quick draw's heavy though, I kind of like that lower initiative, maybe, maybe a Griffin. Maybe I bring this griffin instead. We'll see. See what takes my fancy when we go into the mission. We'll have a go anyway. Uh, the ship's nearly got the hospital bay complete, which would be very nice. Because you can upgrade the ship as you go as well. I've got most of the upgrades done at this point, except for improved engines, the third and final mech bay. That's going to be probably the next thing I get. And then a few bits and pieces for uh, improved morale. We're going to get the third mag bay, and then we'll go from there. So, let's go back to the main screen here and launch the contract. Maybe because this is a story mission. Oh no, we're straight into the uh, setting your mechs up. Okay, we've got my main character piloting the Highlander, which is a really nice assault mech. And this is a Star League era, era star mech. Uh, you're a Highlander with all sorts of fancy toys. Uh, we've got Noodle flying the Zeus. <coughs> I think we want Glitch piloting the Orion because she's very good. <coughs> and we want Medusa piloting our... he's our main scouty guy at the moment. <coughs> I kind of wish you could reset people's skills, but I haven't found... I don't think you can do that. 
hindsight, I wish I'd given him, rather than the ace pilot skill, the other scout skill. Uh, do I run with the Centurion? Yeah, I do. I like that second AC-20. It gives me a nice bit of punch. So, let us begin. Command interface initiated. So, Panzer is in desperate shape, Commander. Famine is a fact of life here. And the Torians have just targeted the space will be easy to deliver your microscope because they're bastards. <clears throat> As we speak, the Torians have several waves of APCs, complete with battle mech escorts, en route to the Spaceport Command Center. If they succeed in taking it, they'll lock down our supply ships, and the people of Panzer will starve. The Spaceport's turrets are down, and House Desolus is in no position to repel an attack of this magnitude. It's up to us to stop them. You will defend the Spaceport against the Torians, and prevent their troop transports from reaching the Command Center. They'll like to send a detachment wounded as well. If you can spare a mech or two, please consider sending... Yeah. These guys really are scum. The second is nearly gone. You come up with all that crowd and we'll do what we can to defend the restoration. If you go to all the Torian APs reaching the command center, my people will get the spaceport's turrets up and running for you. We will make a move if, you, if any of them get through. Don't have numbers to go against term marines in a ground fight. Stop those transports, Commander. You're the only one who can. Okay, so if we can take all the turrets out, sorry, all their forces out, then they get the turrets back online, basically. Okay, we've got mechs coming in from the north and the west. Aye, aye. Okay, let's get on my way. You headed over here. And it's only a Jenner. AC20. You know, I could pop him outright. He's running, but. Shotted. See, that's why I like that Centurion. Because it's a beast. That AC-20 and the SRM combo. Got an APC coming in from up there. What can I do for you? Glitch. Uh, let's have you run into the forest. Affirmative! Sprinting keeps the speed up, basically. We got company. is vital in this game. I can't see the rest. Here comes an APC. explain all the game mechanics of this, by the way. Um, the tutorial isn't very good. I might do a guide to Battletech at some point in here, because I say the tutorial is garbage. Mother? And if you know how the game works, um, it's a much easier game to play, basically, obviously, if you know how the actual mechanics work, but... Um, Affirmative. You can do a lot worse than reading up on the tabletop, I'll say that for you, because say, the game mechanics and the computer game are very heavily based on the PC, on the, uh, sorry, the original tabletop, so... How tough are these things? 405 armor. 93 structure. 50. I don't need to get through all of it. 90 armor on the front. I mean, if 
I hit this thing head on? Yeah. A split fire. And the one over there can take the LRMs. <clears throat> There's a good chance of missing on him anyway, so yeah. And I'm pretty sure we got a good chance of blowing this guy away with one volley. Confirmed. Yep, there he goes. The LRMs won't kill this. But, they'll take a sizable chunk out of it. It's further off. And are we going to just keep them away from the spaceport? Now. I think... We'll use the jump jets here. And get up on top there. And I mean, I could hold fire with the medium blazer to save a little bit of heat, but honestly, this mech is so heat efficient anyway. I might as well fire. I mean, this is overkill. I don't need this. I mean, one hit from the Gauss rifle and like even a couple of SRMs will toast this thing. But uh, screw it. All weapons committed. Goodbye. There it goes. Enemy unit destroyed. Now. Charles is drunk to hand transport full of commandos. Commandos, stop the myth. Commandos, eh? Okay, and we're back up to the top. And again, I don't care about the max. The mechs look like they're mostly light, and I can deal with them at my leisure. In fact, if I get the turrets online, the turrets will make mince me out of these guys. I don't know what the turrets actually are, but they look pretty big turrets, so I'm guessing they're... But the Commando is going head-to-head -head with my Orion. This is going to end badly you for him. You got nothing, you hear me? Here, another 35-ton mech. He missed because that was a PPC and I don't like PPCs, they hurt. Okay. Good to go. Now you can just stamp on this thing's face. Good enough. It's time to get physical. Goodbye. Melee attacks do double damage versus vehicles, vehicle so that will 140 damage to one location. Any location where a vehicle dies, the vehicle dies. So that was pretty much a guaranteed kill unless I missed, and his piloting skill is way, way higher than needed to be to pretty much guarantee a hit there. Got some kind of SRM, LRM mech over there. But I was in cover, I had some evasion. Minor damage, Commander. Didn't Nothing do to much. see here. <clears throat> that was a mech three. Oh, they've got a heavy they got moving up here. Oh, that I don't like. And that's why. Trebuchet's ha! That aren't me a real opponent. terribly well armored, but as you just saw, there... I hear ya. Now she got I'm kind of inclined to ignore the commander and go for the trebuchet because the trebuchet is a much, much bigger threat. Coordinates received. Can I move up here? Hope that I've got enough. Oh, I'm full morale, nearly. So we can use vigilance, which will bump him up in initiative step next turn, and also give him guard and trench, which it takes half damage. And we use precision strike, and we will try and put. Well, we'll try and core out the middle of this trebuchet. And honestly, if most of this stuff hits, he's dead. Middle of a trebuchet, as you can see, the armor is shite. 110 tons of armor, 8 points of structure. The AC-20 will take half his life in one shot, more than half his life. And the rest, well, yeah, he's dead. All weapons are go! Say, so, that, that. Dang, you're Even dead. if half of that hit, his center torso was gone. Which, would have been a chance to hit the center torso. 
hoping I get to go before that APC. But if he wants to come over here, that is fine. I will um, stamp on him with an assault mech, I guess. I'm receiving you. Uh, goodbye. Targeting bye for bye. physical attack. Frag to vehicle. Okay, that was him. Now... Where was that APC? I don't know, actually. the barracks up here. Is it coming along the road up here? Yeah, it must be. Okay, so we're going to keep jumping up this way until we get a shot of those guys over there. But for now, um, what have we got? Shot at the commando, shot at the panther. Commander, it is them. Engaging target. Not some position shot on this. Just pepper them a bit. That wasn't a bad shot, considering. Difference to me, but uh, is he seriously going to offer the front melee for a second? Slightly concerned that I'm not sure where these other two APCs are. Slight damage, hold in firm. SRMs, and their upgraded SRMs that do extra damage. I mean, it's just, it's a monster, that Orion. Can I close it on there? Yep. Roger. Can I 
see him yet? No, nope, I can't see the APC yet, but it's probably getting close. We've got a good chance of hitting this guy with pretty much everything, so I think we're going to take a proper trip. It's only 18% chance, with 69% chance to hit his right torso, though. And if we rip the... if we call the right torso out, then all the shots that hit there will hit the center torso automatically. Not to mention, that's his PPC arm, which is basically all his weapons. So, yeah. All weapons committed. Might have taken off his feet as well. No, we didn't quite. I'm here. Um, let's bring you back over here. Copy that, Commander. And make that Commando go away. I mean, arguably there's not going to be anything for turrets to fire by the time I finish this mission, but... Uh... Engaging target. SRM destroyed as well. Didn't That's kill it. something good. I'm surprised it survived that, frankly, but... Uh... Hang on. That's the Alatorian transport. Keep pushing them back. Show the Torians that we will never stop fighting. What was that? Commandos, that's surprisingly well on that. I mean, that's a heavy laser. Those little guys just... Oh, no, that's the other commando. Now, if he was sensible, he'd have just shot me. I guess he's not sensible. Bye. You. Can come over here. Coordinates received. If I happen to get eyes on those vehicles, we will make them not be vehicles anymore. So now you can just brace it. Oh no, I should have sent a lot that I could have LRM'd it. Oh, no, 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 no! So we failed. We failed to save the barracks troops. Well, that sucks. I don't see how I could have got up there any... Well, I could have made a run for the barracks as quickly as possible at the start of the game. I pretty much did, though. I mean, I suppose I could have sprinted straight up the road at the start. Now, see, this Waiting game does not order. mess around. Right, well, now we haven't got a rush to go over there. Um, you betcha. You're going to have a real bad day, Sonny Jim. Say hello to my little friend. Or would overheat me massively. So this is the thing, you got to keep an eye on your heat with your mags here. Some of them are better than others. So this one, if we switch off the two medium lasers, the AC-20 and their SRMs should... Well, we're still getting close to overheating, but honestly... He's worse off than me. You should have run when you had the chance! Yes, yes you should. And here come the other two APCs. Just to clarify what a bunch of bastards these guys are, what happened up there, in case you missed the text, if I skipped over it too fast, was uh, they sent a special forces team in to slaughter the wounded people in the medical bays. Now, I didn't get there in time to stop them, but that still... I mean, I tried. They're the scum who did that. Enemy transport is closing on the command center. And here it comes. Griffin. 
very messed up, Griffin. Yes, Commander. All right, can I get close enough to hit that APC? Where did the other one go? No, I can't quite get close enough to hit it, so we'll just bring him over here. Coordinates received. And he will fire on... that commando... with everything he actually has. Fire in. Stop these guys. That's not an APC, that's a friggin' SRM carrier. Okay. Can I get a shot at this little bastard? Engaging jump jets. Yes. This might be overkill. I mean, it's almost certainly overkill, but I don't care. All weapons committed. Okay, yeah, it was a bit overkill when all the SRMs started hitting as well, but, uh, the LRMs, but, uh... Ah, here is the last APC. We can take this thing out. The turrets come online and it's game over, basically. However, Those transports cannot be allowed to take this spaceport. Whatever it takes, we must push them back. That SRM carrier absolutely cannot be allowed to fire either because, well, warning, enemy in rear arc. If I let the SRM carrier fire, you'll see why I don't want it to fire. So I'm not going to let that happen. Uh, go over there and make it go away, please. Uh, you saw those less SRMs that my girl was firing. That was uh, two SRM sixes, and you can see they hurt. They hurt a lot. Look at what this bastard has: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, sixty SRMs. They do eight damage each. Just do some mental arithmetic there and... F yeah. That, that's... No. Die lots! Firing. All weapons. Enemy vehicle SRM destroyed. carriers bad. SRM carriers need to not be SRM carriers for long. Here comes the Griffin. have his PPC. I'm not overly worried. Good to go. Uh, what have we got? Shrek PPC carrier and Slepnit APC. Now that's bad news bears as well. However, switch on. And if the turrets switch on, yeah. Have a look at these. I mean, that's a lot of... I mean, that's just two of them. They're all over the place. I don't even know what that one is. So, yeah. This thing... I'm going to overheat slightly if I do this, but this will guarantee the kill. Do I put the extra medium laser in as well? No. Delivery. I said it's probably overkill, but uh, you like that? I wanted to be sure. It's getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Uh oh, you got to move first. No, oh, bad PPC carrier. Fortunately, they all hit different locations because oh, if all three of those hit one, that would have been hit there. a lot of damage. Waiting for orders. Now, where's Noodle? Noodle can come over here and nuke that PPC carry before it fires again. This 
attack's pretty good as well, it's pretty good on the old heat efficiency with a little bit of bonus from the environment, then, uh... All right. Oh, that didn't quite do it. That's a tough tank. Um, I think I'm just going to punch this guy, and I'm going to punch him in the side, because that side's already lost its arm and torso, so I'll pretty much hit head or torso if punch location charts are the same as the tabletop. This should core him out. Engaging physical attack. It's online now. Oh, they don't get to fire this turn. You know what? I, I don't think turrets are going to get a shot off. Because the, from what I can see, they've got one tank and one light mech left. And they're going to get obliterated by my mechs before the turrets get a chance to fire. Uh, where's been Just Just waiting for orders. Juice is still down here. Let's bring him over here. Copy that. And he might even take this thing in one volley. So do you, Commando. Um, yeah, screw it. Let's uh, go for a cold shot to the center torso. Roger that. Yep, there he goes. Target neutralized. See, the lance I've got here is a bit of a beast. Two AC-20s and a Gauss rifle is a lot of punch. Because the key thing with uh, Mag Warrior, uh, well not Mag Warrior, but uh, Battletech, is not so much having the firepower, it's being able to concentrate that firepower on one location. Uh, okay, we need this guy to cool down a bit, so let's just switch the AC-20 off. Yes, yeah, should be enough to finish him. Right, Commander. And that's it. That's all the attackers Move toasted. Down. Still pissed I didn't get to the uh, the armory and the the uh, barracks in time. But all in all. That was a pretty mission successful mission. Successful. So you see, this is the thing. I got a 40% contract bonus. I would probably got another 20 or even more bonus to the mission funding if I'd actually saved the hospital as well, or the barracks, or whatever it is. But, um... We defended the command center. We stop them seizing the dropships. And, uh, yeah, all in all, it went pretty well. And we only took... The only internal damage we took in the entire mission was basically a little bit of overheating damage on the Orion when we deliberately overheated to finish that thing off. And lots of kills, lots of XP for everyone. No one was injured at all. And let's see what we got. It's going to be great because it was all light max and basically garbage. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. It's basically crap. So, what have we got? I don't actually really care about any of these mechs. I mean, if I get a full one, I can sell them, so I'll probably take that Jenner bit because I've already got a piece of it. Let's have a look if there's anything there's a... LRM++, that might be worth having. There's a medium laser++. Plus plus. There's a few medium laser++. Plus pluses. Whole bunch of machine guns. A PPC+, plus. all the SRMs in the world. And some other stuff that I don't really care about, in all honesty. Nope, I think we're going to have the Jenner part, because then we'll eventually one more Jenner part, we can sell it. I th 
think we're gonna have the griffin part, because I quite like griffins. I think we're gonna have the trebuchet part, because again, I quite like trebuchets, and again, they're reasonably valuable mechs. And we'll have that LRM 15 plus plus, because it seems halfway decent. And that'll do. We'll also get a whole bunch of other stuff, so what else did we get? Did we get any of the decent medium lasers? No, we didn't. And we got a heat sink, a jump jet, some ammo, some SRMs, a whole bunch of medium lasers. Meh, nothing no, nothing the right ham about. So, yep, yeah, all good. So Darius thinks Lady Centrella's calling. Should we increase fleet movement in New Vandenberg? Concord Navy drop jets, complete with fighter support, so they're headed our way. The Concord Navy anything to do with us? If we win every battle, attrition will never take its toll. Ah, that's the Torian Concord. They are closing in on us, but Lord Madeira has gone to, um, basically secure some evidence that will basically prove that Khmer's un evil uncle is a douchebag and then the Turians will uh, hopefully switch sides. but she chose right, I think, there. I get easier in three weeks, the cash will stop hitting my desk. This is another thing, I like, you have these little choices of conversation. They don't make a huge difference in the game, from what I can tell, but, uh, different options depending on your background as well, which is kind of cool. Even more tenuous here in the reach. You can't stop people from dying, Lady Arana. Good woman. I'd follow her. She seems like she's actually a that's really what, you know, because it's all just text. It's really well written text, though. And the characters, they're all believable. And, you know, Lady Arano does seem like a genuinely inspiring leader. I would actually follow her <laughs> into battle. So, uh. Got a hyperpulse generator transmission coming in. The point order is Goldra, putting it on screen now. Well, that's where. Ah, here he is. Family's insurance policy. I can't open the files here because of the level of security that we're hidden behind. Be damn, something like that. Oh, I'm going to have to go get him, aren't I? rescue uh, Lord Madeira. However, that's where I'm going to leave the recording here for now. Uh, I've given you guys a little taste, and hopefully you've seen how this game works, and um, if you're anything like me, uh, that would have been enough to whet my appetite and basically sell me on the game. It, it's a marvellous, marvellous game, and I cannot recommend it highly enough if you have any interest, in, even if you have never played Battletech, and 